Hello everyone. In this practical, we will be discussing global alignment of two sequences using Needleman Wunsch algorithm. In the practical procedure, given as the 15th item in the module in the platform, you can see there is a link that is given. Uh, for a needle program from EBI, we can open that link. So, this is the pairwise sequence alignment page of uh, embossed package using the needle algorithm. Needle corresponds to needle man wunsch. Embos is a European molecular biology open office, uh, uh, open uh, software suite. So, that is a uh, emboss. So, in the that uh, emboss is a collection of different tools for uh, uh, analyzing the sequences. So, uh, this emboss package is having a program known as needle which works on uh, needleman Wunsch algorithm for performing the pairwise sequence alignment. And this program emboss package and needle uh, program they are available online through websites like uh, EBI or standalone programs of embossed package can be installed in your own system and you can perform all this uh, from the command line or some of the, uh, using some graphical inter interface in the uh, Windows system itself. Now <coughs> we are using the online platform of EBI which provides the needle uh, tool of the embossed package for pairwise alignment. Now, when we see uh, this page, there is an option to select whether you are trying to align protein or DNA. If your sequence is DNA, you have to select DNA. So, you, if uh, you are selecting protein and giving a uh, nucleotide input, then uh, it will not be supported. So, proper uh, selection of the nature of the sequence should be uh, done initially. So, if you are giving an input sequence as of, of DNA, then select it as DNA. Then there will be two boxes which is given for input of the first and second sequence of for the comparison because we are trying to perform sequence alignment of two sequences. You need to give two sequence inputs. You can paste the FASTA sequence on these boxes or you can upload <coughs> a file, FASTA file containing both the sequences in the single file. You can browse and upload the FASTA sequence that is containing two sequences to be compared. So, now you will uh, require two sequences to, uh, for performing the pra uh, this practical. Again, we will go to the gen bank. So, in the gen bank, we will follow the same procedure as that of the previous experiment. So, I prefer Escherichia coli. Now, there are two sequences which is given here. One is this and this one is uh, a second sequence. Now, let us uh, select these uh, two uh, sequences. One is uh, 849 base pair and the second one is 1113 base pair. So, naturally there are two uh, sequences of different length. Let us uh, download them and compare it. There are two options. One is to open these sequences individually. So, this is the sequence, first sequence, you can click on the FASTA. So, this is the first sequence, you can copy that and paste it in the first box. Okay. I will close it now. Now, you can open the second sequence. 
again open the FASTA, copy the sequence and paste it in the second box. Okay. Now, both our sequences were now given as an input. As I mentioned, there is also another option. The option is uh, uh, you can select both the items simultaneously, then you can visualize the FASTA of the two selected items. So, these are the two sequences. Now, you can send to file faster create file. So, this can be saved. So, this sequences dot faster file can be uploaded by browsing here. So, this sequences dot faster can be selected and so only one of these options needs to be utilized. Either you can uh, download both the sequences in the single FASTA file and browse it and locate uh, it and then upload. Or you can uh, individually copy and paste both the sequences in this option. Okay. Once again, I am pasting it. So, uh, okay, you please note that uh, even if you are downloading it, you have to download it separately in two files because uh, these faster sequences cannot be uh, given as a single input. Uh, the software actually asks for the first sequence dot faster and second sequence dot faster. So, means you have to individually upload or uh, independently upload both the sequences uh, separately into the uh, software or you can paste both the sequences uh, separately in the text box. Now, set up your pairwise alignment options. Uh, so, there are different options. Now, you just uh, 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 output format pair or cluster LW something any option can be selected. Now, there are more options here and uh, uh, gap opening penalty, gap extension penalty etcetera can be uh, modified if it is required and finally, you can submit. So, okay. So, sorry, this is a DNA sequence. <coughs> so, now you have the results here. You can see that uh, uh, the program used is uh, needle, time and date is given and uh, various other arguments which is uh, passed into the software is actually given here. Now, uh, it is aligned with the two sequences, gap penalty is 10, gap extension penalty is 0 0.5, then identity is uh, this much that is 42 percentage and similarity is this much because these are two. Uh, entirely different sequences, there is not much similarity. So, only the similarity is about uh, less than 50 percentage is there. So, the sequences were now aligned uh, pairwise, wherever the similarity is there, it is actually paired with the, the other sequence. So, a partial similarity and uh, uh, a similarity uh, etcetera were and uh, gaps were also inserted uh, in between the sequences. So, this is how we perform uh, a sequence alignment using a needle package of the emboss.
थैंक यू